Hello fans, I'm Scott Stuchio and welcome to Top 10 Tuesdays presented by Travel Champs here on HersheyBears.com. Well, last week we talked about the return of our champion coaches, Troy Mann and Brian Helmer, and our second assistant, Ryan Murphy. What those guys did last year was remarkable, taking a team to a 100-point regular season. The last 100-point regular season by the Bears was back when the league last did an 80-game format, which was the 2010-11 campaign. Trying to reach that 100-point plateau with four fewer games required a diverse team that was strong, knew its role, and bought in. It's moment number nine on our Top 10 Tuesdays, the Bears' 100-point regular season. The coaches got the Bears out to a 6-2 and two start out of the October gate, with many of those games played on the road. A mediocre November and December, played with several players suffering injuries, kept the Bears in the playoff picture, but not quite near the top of the league or division. During January and February, however, the Bears rattled off an 18-2-1-1 record to move back atop the East Division and near the top of the league standings. 11 more wins between March and April, many of which came during some grueling travel, brought the Bears to 98 points and a record of 45-22-5-3 going into the regular season finale on April 18th against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. The Bears had already clinched the division title one night earlier, and thus, Mann and Helmer rested some of the top guns and put in prospects and players that hadn't earned much ice time during the successful march up the standings. Travis Boyd earned a goal and an assist. Christian Juice earned his first pro assist. The Bears' special teams shined. Phoenix Copley allowed just one goal, and the Bears did it. They became one of just four teams to hit 100 points or more in the 76-game season. Check back next week and see if you can figure out moment number eight on our top 10 Tuesdays presented by Travel Champs here on HersheyBears.com. I'm Scott Stuchio. We'll talk to you in a week. Stay cool, everybody.